In this video, I'm going to show you how to import um, geometry created in Civil 3D into Hecras. In our previous video, we created this geometry within Civil 3D and we exported it to a Hecras format. Um, in this video, we're going to work through importing this and, and there's a few tricks um, to doing so. So let's open Hecras. So first thing we'll do, we'll just um, create a new project and just save it here in our same folder and we'll just call this test. Okay, generally it always wants you to create a new project before you do anything else. So to import the geometry um, we first need to go to edit and geometric data so within this box here we click file import geometry data and GIS format I know we we did it in civil 3d but it understands it all as essentially GIS format and this would work the same way if you had data that you created in um, Geo Hecraser. So here we have our folder, and this was our creek um, that we named. Hit OK. So we want US customary units. Um, we did everything in feet. Um, this imports basically our streamlines. And then here we need to kind of take a step back and think for just a second. So we created our geometry within AutoCAD in an upstream to downstream direction um, and, and that's how it's looking at here but our stationings was also in an upstream to downstream direction so 0 was the furthest upstream reach and here 1044 was our downstream um, Hecras likes to think the other way as far as stationing so 0 is its lowest station in a downstream direction and its highest station number is upstream so we need to essentially reverse these so the way we can do that quickly and easily is just to highlight all of these and hit control C and copy them over and we'll just open up an Excel or, or a similar type word book we'll hit control V and copy them in so we need to reverse these but not a true reverse we need to reverse um, the numbering based on the, the actual distances if you had these set to exactly equal distances then you could just simply reverse them um, but here we need to do it based on the numbers so the way to do that is we'll take our highest number so essentially we want to turn this into zero so we'll hit equals that's 10 44 point. 5, 8, and we'll subtract this column. Okay, so now we have 0. Click back here, and we want to click this, double click this bottom right corner, and that will automatically fill this in. So you can see the numbers are not necessarily true opposites of each other, um, but that's the correct stationing. So we'll hit highlight this whole cell or column and hit Control C again. And we'll copy this back over into Hecras. So when you, whenever you're copying and pasting into Hecras, you need to have highlighted the entire area you want to paste to, which we already had highlighted from when we copied. So we can just directly hit Control V and dump those numbers right back in here. Okay. With that, we can just click Finished and import the data. So now it brings it in. We have our river center line with flow direction from north to south and we have our cross sections now stationed with zero in the downstream direction and a thousand in the upstream direction the neat thing about importing um, geographic data from AutoCAD especially when you have a surface is that your cross section geometry is already built for you so if we click on this and edit cross section, we'll expand this out so you can see it better. 
you can see that it automatically calculated the surface along that full cross section and it sampled it I'm not sure the sampling distance um, but it looks like every 10 15 feet all the way along here so you can see our creek channel here um, this is pretty distorted in the y direction we only are going 20 feet in the y direction and 700 feet in the horizontal x direction um, but you can get the idea and so you can look through all the different cross sections and, and get a pretty good idea of what's going on here now there are a couple things that we need to do um, to kind of finish this up so one thing that is also not imported directly or isn't imported correctly um, from Civil 3D is the reach links if you notice when we clicked on our top reach it actually didn't have a reach length which there should be a length from here to here the only station that shouldn't have a reach length is zero because there's nothing below it to fix that all at once we come up here to tables and we want to do reach lengths and you can see essentially they're all shifted downward these are the correct links because it calculates those when it imports um, but it just has them off one so we want to highlight this whole thing and we'll hit control X to cut it and again we have to highlight the entire area that we want to paste to hit control V okay and now they're all set except for this bottom one which is zero so it shouldn't have um, any reach length and we'll hit OK and essentially we're done importing the geometry um, we can save this geometry is something new here we'll call it test geo okay and now we're done